In this video, we'll be exploring the controversial topic of digital identity cards and the impact they can have on our privacy and civil liberties. We'll take a closer look at the proposed digital ID system introduced by former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair in 2006 and why it was ultimately scrapped by the government in 2010. We'll also discuss Tony Blair's recent efforts to promote the use of digital IDs and the potential benefits and concerns associated with them. Join us as we delve deeper into this complex issue and examine the impact it can have on society. Tony Blair's 2006 goal of creating a digital ID system was mainly driven by the need to reduce terrorism, illegal immigration, and identity theft by introducing a system that could effectively link biometric data like fingerprints and facial recognition to individual identities. The proposed system would also provide access to public services and improve national security. A digital ID system in the UK could have several negative effects. Firstly, it could raise concerns about privacy, as personal information would be accessible by the government and could be tracked. This could be particularly concerning if the system were compromised or misused. There is also the risk of security breaches and identity theft which could put individuals' information and security at risk. In addition, there is a risk of discrimination against vulnerable groups if they do not have access to digital IDs or if the system is not designed to accommodate their needs. Implementing a digital ID system could also be expensive and this cost may potentially be passed on to citizens. Another concern is that a digital ID system could create a false sense of security regarding identity verification leading to individuals relying too heavily on technology and potentially overlooking other important forms of identification. Additionally, those who do not have access to digital devices or the internet could be excluded, making it less accessible for some members of society. Overall, while a digital ID system could have some benefits, there are also significant concerns and challenges that must be considered and addressed. In 2010, the coalition government scrapped the digital ID system and biometric passports over concerns about cost, effectiveness, and privacy. The Identity and Passport Service had estimated the total cost of the ID card scheme to be around £5.6 billion, and this was seen as a waste of taxpayers' money. Additionally, some experts argued that the ID cards would not have significantly improved national security, and the money could be better spent on other counterterrorism measures. Despite the cancellation of the system, Tony Blair has continued to advocate for the use of digital IDs, including for the purpose of tracking COVID-19 vaccination and testing status through a COVID pass. He believes that digital IDs offer benefits for improving access to public services and enhancing national security. In a 2017 interview with Esquire magazine, Tony Blair addressed the conspiracy theories about his alleged involvement with secret societies, including Freemasonry, Illuminati, and the Bilderberg Group. Blair stated that he has no connections with any of the secret organizations and dismissed these allegations as unfounded and untrue. Blair has also spoken publicly about his religious beliefs and his interest in spirituality, which some have mistakenly conflated with membership of secret societies. However, there is no evidence that Blair's beliefs or interests have any connection to secret societies or other similar organizations. In summary, Tony Blair's advocacy for digital IDs has been controversial because of the privacy concerns that led to the scrapping of the ID card system in 2010. Although digital IDs could offer some benefits, many still question their effectiveness, cost, and impact on privacy and civil liberties. What are your thoughts as digital ID beneficial or erode or complete erosion of privacy? Thanks for watching.